Okay, welcome back everybody to the next episode of the Feed the Beast series. And if you can already tell at a quick glance, a lot has changed in my base. And let me tell you why. I've done several attempts at an episode two, um, trying to do make some of the machines that I've made already, and I've kind of failed miserably. It's taken at least two or three tries with each of the new additions, like there, and there, and this. I've tried to record all of my processes, but the version I record is way outdated, and when I do a little bit of research, there's definitely a better way of doing certain things. So we're just going to, I've scrapped already uh, two or three tries, and we're going to try to aim for this to be the real, legitimate one. So what I'm standing on here is an auto spawner powered by Mob Essence, which is collected via EXP and a grinder down below. But this um, auto spawner is if you can, you can capture any mob, you know, passive or hostile, and you can pretty much clone them if you have enough Mob Essence and power, of course. And so the reason I decided to make these is because I've been talking with some other guys on the server and my power system is outdated and legitimately really bad. So I'm trying to upgrade into a way that I can get more power, which I think I'm going to try to use Tesseracts. Um, tesseracts are like a portable power system. So I'm going to try to harness the power of the nether, which is apparently what everyone in Feed the Bees does on their like first day. And it's taken me probably like a month to figure that out. So to make Tesseracts, you need Ender. Uh, ender pearls to melt them down. Uh, let's go ahead and Google Tesseract here. So there are several kinds of Tesseracts. Tesseracts can transport items, uh, fluids, or energy uh, interdimension wise, you know, between, or just not even interdimension, just between two remote locations. So it makes them very convenient to carry around if you need to, you know, portably put power somewhere. So as you can tell from the color, you need Ender. You need resonant ender, and a resonant ender is made from melting down ender pearls. So I'm not going to sit around and try to hunt endermen all day. And so I'm not, I'm not sure if we have an enderman farm in the end. I don't even know if we fought the dragon. I bet you someone has. But the other alternative is use uh, auto spawner. So if you can capture an enderman using a safari net, which I have done, um, you can place them in here and it spawns endermen. Um, we're not going to do it right now because I need to finish up the roof here because in the daytime and it was pretty ridiculous when I tried this the first time. If it's day, the Endermen start teleporting everywhere, and when I first put it in there, there's probably like seven Endermen running around in my base, and I had to go kill them. Um, but maybe by the end of the episode, we can, we'll can we have the roof done, and we'll fire it up. Let's take a quick tour over here. This is my Industrial Craft 2 uh, automated stuff. You can see all the machines I have here. Um, Basically, I just throw them in this chest, and they get output into this cool diamond chest here. Um, it's pretty much, and there's an extra canning machine because I screwed up. But we got pneumatic servos and all these uh, item ducts to output them to the diamond uh, chest here. So it's really cool. I keep all of my, uh, you know, IC2 processed stuff in this chest over here because I'm, I've kind of. I have, I'm really comfortable with the very basics of IC2. That's why I was able to make this really cool and even fashionable and aesthetic setup uh, for my IC2 stuff. Uh, thermal expansion, on the other hand, is something I'm still trying to get a grip on. Um, so this is the thermal expansion section. I've got a bunch of magmatic crucibles, or magma crucibles. Um, essentially, they are powered by, or not, yeah, they're powered by themselves actually. So I put netherrack in this thing here and it converts it into lava and the lava is sent to these magmatic dynamos which consume lava to make RF and the RF is thrown back into this machine to produce more lava and it's a very cyclical nature and excess lava and excess energy are stored in or the energy stored in this redstone energy cell which powers my tree farms and my basic thermal expansion machines um, uh, and then the lava is sent to this tank, which is outputted by a geothermal generator, which powers my iridium attempt. Um, so iridium is, is really poopy to get. It, it's really, it's 
it's really hard in all honesty it takes up a lot of power and I'm just not in the place to do it but I for some re reason thought I should make the machines anyways so these machines were all very expensive probably 30 diamonds in total 40 which in my case is a lot uh, there's another dude on my server who just got like 600 diamonds because he has a boring machine but anyways we're not trying to be jealous but um I'm soaking up so much power that these illuminators sometimes turn off on me, and it, that, it gets bad when the illuminators are off. Um, anyways, so, uh, this is such a nightmare. This takes up so much energy. It's probably like 16 million EU, and this thing I can only store 4 million at a time, and I've never been full. Um, so it takes an absurd amount of energy to turn these scrap boxes into UU matter. Oh, look, these are already turning off. Things are about to get dangerous. Um, and the scanner can, I've inputted iridium, so it can scan it and it's replicated here, but it requires 22, 22 buckets of UU matter and 1 million EU. I've got the EU locked down just because it's really quick, but the UU matter, oh my goodness, it just takes up so much energy um, to make just a little bit of UU matter. Um, I don't even know why I have this tank here, it's never going to be full until I reach late game at least, uh, or at least even mid game. So that's what that disaster is all about. And that's kind of all that's new. So, I mean, I know it doesn't look like much, but it took a long time. This right here, the thermal expansion thing was a disaster. I mean, that first episode I made, that first episode I made, uh, trying to set this up was a complete disaster. I was like hooking, I was hooking up these crucibles to these guys and sent them to this energy bridge to a geothermal generator and I was losing energy. Everything was awful, pretty much. Um, hey, guy. What are you doing? Get out. Get out from there. Oh, well, you're going to die. Let me show you how the grinder works. So the conveyor belts put them in here. And the grinder should mop them up. Mop them up. Get them. There you go. And so the grinder automatically kills them, and if they drop stuff, they get sent to this just here. And the grinder actually recovers some of the mob essence, and I sent it back up here to that green gooey stuff over there. Um, so it's pretty cool when you've actually got a spawner in there, and, and you know mobs are dropping like crazy. So I know I need to... Today we're going to... We need to get some cows. I mean, we're just running low on food, and I'm eating bread for forever, and I need leather. So what we're going to do after that is we're going to sleep this off. And then we're going to go on an adventure for cows. Okay, two things I need to know with this adventure. One, I need a new place to set up a quarry because I'm just running low on materials now. Um, let's get the portal gun just in case I end up without power on my jetpack. So we're going to go, we're going to find um, a land area because as you know, I am in the middle of the ocean. And as much as I would think I would like to quarry the oceans, I really don't want to muck up my land base, or my main base. Like, I, I like the land around it, even though you really can't see anything. I really just like how it's unta untampered with. I mean, the guys have, that have visited my base have been they've been asking why I haven't harvested this oil yet, and I was like, I like the I like the aesthetic nature of it, you know, and I don't want it to go all the way down. So I'm keeping that there. Um, so we're going to go on an adventure. We're going to look for, a, like, a land base. I've always wanted to, like, set up a speedboat area, you know, I mean, I know not everyone would travel by land, but, you know, I just wanted to set up a little, like, a cool way, an aesthetic way to get to my base, you know, via an electric boat or a rail system, but I want it connected to a main land area, you know, a sizable land area where, you know, that's pretty much the construction zone. Uh, see, I've been here, and it's that... I can see it up here on my mini map. That's a really, really, really ugly piece of land. Something was not correct with the chunk generation, and it kind of just like cuts off, and it's really ugly. So uh, we're not gonna go in that direction. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go deeper negative. So we're gonna go negative Z, which is that way. Um. Another thing I really want to do. Oh gosh, how high? Um, another thing we really want to do is look into hand gliders. I've seen the other guys on the server use them, and apparently they are awesome. 
they go so fast. I know, I mean, my IC2 jetpack is really, really bad. It's just really slow. I was helping uh, another person on the server, a friend, and he was, okay, there's a land over there, but that's just, it's a lot of ice, and then there's more chunk load generated. Chunk generation errors there. What is that? Let's go check with that out. Let's go see what that is. Um, and he, he let me borrow his resonant jetpack, and that thing is wicked fast. Like, really, really cool. What on earth? Oh, someone's sucking up the, the oil here. Who is this? This is Lego Dudes. Oh, this guy. He's... I was gonna settle these also, like, make other oil rig platforms, but it looks like he's just sucking up all the... Uh, sucking up all the... the oil here. Maybe I should, uh, stake my claim on this. I'm probably going to either that one, I really like that one, let me see what this one is over here. So you can see on the menu map on the left, on my left, there's more chunk load errors. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I don't really want to settle there. I'm probably going to stake my claim on this one. I like this one a lot. He can have that one. I'll put up a sign and uh, stuff. I don't even know how you can put a sign here. But yeah, there's a lot of oil places and I, I want to harvest those also and put them around my base um but see i don't like that we're going out too far i'm gonna keep going and we'll see if we can find somewhere and I'll, we'll cut back when i find something okay i think i've found the land that i want to butcher so what we're gonna do first is capture these cows gotcha gotta catch them all pokemon so that is a cow um and i think this is where we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tear this place up. Uh, so we're gonna go get the. Okay, so it's gonna be a whole thing to set this up. We're gonna have to go and we'll set up our portal here. The fifty-fifty shot. I think it's the purple one. Is rig. Yes, good. Okay, that's close. Um, that's very close. Way back home. Okay, so we've got it uh, set up there. Let's go recharge at the jetpack real quick. Let's see. So we're gonna throw this in here. We're gonna throw this in here. Come on. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna we'll we'll use the mob farm because we'll use them with the cows because the cows can't teleport out of the little area. So we'll grab this, we'll throw in the cows, we can show you, throw them in there, and then the idle time will go down, the work will go up, and then we'll have cows and meat and leather, which is something we need for backpacks, because I have this digger's backpack, but sometimes, you know, I want a regular mm -hmm. backpack, backpack. That's right, go down. They go down. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are. They're struggling, but they're going. And look at that. We're getting leather and beef. Good, good, good. So this is really inefficient, the way I've got the work going. Because it's all, all that's attached is a, a generator uh, with coal in it. Or charcoal. So... I know it's not the best way to do it, but I'm just so short on power and I couldn't, I didn't want to attach, you know, leadstone pipes all the way up here. So, I know it's not, oh, I know it's not the best, but it's making do for now. Um, let's go ahead and take it out. I think we've got enough. I just wanted to show you how all that worked. So, I'm going to go get the rest of the stuff set up. Get on. Those will shut off on their own. We'll go ahead and throw some meat in the oven. And we've got cows. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. I didn't want to reset that. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay. So we're going to go grab our quarry. Maybe we'll just make a new one. No, because I need to take diamonds and that's something we don't have. So we're going to go grab our quarry. And we need to refigure out a way to get it powered. Um, 
solar panels might not be enough. Huh. Let me think. Um, let me get back to you guys as I figure out what we're going to prioritize in terms of what we need. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, team. I've made the executive decision, and we're not going to quarry that area. We're actually going to quarry the nether. Um, and I made... Oh, we're going the wrong way. This way. Uh, made the decision because n netherrack is something we deeply need a lot of. Um... Where am I going? Is it this way? Yeah, I need to go to zero zero. Okay. This is the way to zero zero. Um oh gosh, this glider is amazing. Go super high up, hover mode on, shift. Shift. Yeah. Uh, look at the speed. Um so I made this decision because we need netherrack to make our uh simply to make the uh, magma to power most of our machines. And we need those machines, you know, for very basic necessities, so to speak. Um, oh wow, this is incredible. Whoa! Oh, someone quarried the ocean. Jesus, that's cool. We'll follow this way home. So we have to go get the quarry machine, which is back at spawn base. Um, I should ca I should go up there and capture some slimes. I need slime in general. Unfortunately, I don't think that hole is big enough. Hmm. And we're back at base. Oh, someone else has got a quarry underneath that. like that we fall smoothly because we have a jetpack okay so we're going to grab several things um, we might remake the portal gun because we the thing is we need we need power when we go down there um, at least a little bit of startup power because we'll we'll get another rocket maybe we can make a crucible to get the energy to make it in the first place so we're gonna grab these guys. I didn't bring my crescent wrench, but I'm pretty sure you can just break these normally. Yes. Grab that, grab that. Heck, we'll even grab this because in all honesty, we're not gonna quarry spawn anymore. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna go grab dog. And it's the perfect time to cut because this is all bureaucratic nonsense. Uh, so we will be right back. Okay, we're back in the nether, and let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a quarry, we've got our pump, and we've got sterling engines to power them, and tanks to fill up what we need. Um, let's place this really Let's get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go find a lava lake to make a mini base over while we... Uh, whoa. Ah! Uh, okay, let's see. Back to the honeycomb hive. Steer clear of that. Let's check out this over here. Don't go down too fast. Okay. All right. Lava Lake. Let's see if we can. Oh, this one's better over here. So what we need to do is carve out a little place that we can call home. If we can get in, get in. Okay, good. So let's. Carve this out here. Okay, actually, what we need to do, hmm, because wherever we carve out our home is probably where we're gonna set the, um, what's it called? We're gonna set up the quarry. So I say we do it where it's like an overhang. And then we need layers. So what about over here? Okay. It's primarily flesh. Ew, flesh. Hmm. I mean, this is going to be...
to be a lot of stuff, right? Like if we set up Hmm. I'm having trouble thinking how we're going to do this cuz the pump's going to go down, which is good, and then like right next to it needs to be a very solid chunk of land. So what if we did it like right here and this is all This is not a good idea. <laughs> Digging up in the nether is never a good idea, even in Feed the Beast. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set it up in here, and then the quarry is going to run up here. Okay. So let's see if we can get on top of that without dying. I'm very afraid to just dig up. So the pump's going to go down here, okay, and then the quarry's going to start <coughs> up here, okay. So dangerous. Okay, there's bedrock. So we'll set up our little base of operations here. not bring any torches that's okay we're gonna screenshot the location okay so that's where we're gonna go up and the pumps gonna go straight down this way okay good yes and then behind it we'll have the quarry so wait I need to check again Pump goes down this way, facing in this direction. There's nothing in its way. Okay, good. We'll zoom back up. So it'll face west. That's what the minimap is for. Now, where is. We need to set up marker for the base here. Probably something lighter and more. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely see the, the pump, the physical pump part. Okay, so we're going to set the pump up. No, the pump here, like that, like that. Then we're gonna get underneath it here, like this. I'm just gonna dig down. So it opens up like that. Good, good, good. Now we need to throw on the Sterling engine. See, it's going to go down like it's supposed to. Uh, it'll take a while, but it'll it'll get there. And then we're going to see if it... Oops. Wait, why did that light up? Did this light up? I don't know. Um... I have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> so we're we're in the same boat here. Um, and then the quarry will face... Actually, it needs to go down some because it's going to... Because it's going to set up the... Let's see. Set the height. Okay. Good. So that's we're we're just gonna do the basic quarry setup here. Basic size. There's no need to increase the X, Y, and Z. How big it is. Uh, and then so this is the dimensions that it'll be starting to carve out, and it'll just go straight down. Uh. I guess I should see. Let's see. Let's let's put one bucket of lava in there and see how how fast it goes. I think it's slow as molasses, but luckily there's no way it'll uh, stop. 
Oh man, this is scary. Uh, I need to switch out the other one. Nope, that was close. We're being dumb. We're being dumb. Okay. Hate phantoms. Can't see him. I don't know if it's. Ah! 13. We're still good. Going up. Going up. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to mark it as much because we, c we can see the physical pump. Um. Okay, come on. Okay. And we'll go back down here. Let's see what a bucket of lava does. Go. Oh, do I need a. Yeah, probably. Go! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Seems to be going. Think this should be storing up energy. Yes, yes it is. I see the energy going. Okay, not bad, not bad. So this this will go, and we'll see how that turns out. Oh, we need to set up the barrel system for the aqua. For the okay. Uh oh, I'm out of power for this guy. That's not good. That's not good at all, actually. Uh oh. Okay, uh, we need to go back and. Okay. This episode's running long, so we're gonna cut here and maybe I'll have the right thing set up in the next episode. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.